Hello and welcome to this video by Intellipath. In this video, we will talk about Agile methodology. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any updates from us. It's amazing to think that last year marked the official 20th anniversary of the Agile approach. It used to be that entrepreneurs would collaborate in co-located rooms using whiteboards and stickies. But today, there is a sophisticated, scalable and commonplace set of Agile software development procedures and technologies. Agile methodology has a long history, which is why businesses utilize Scrum and Kanban to modernize systems, enhance consumer experiences and drive digital transformations. Along with these approaches, there is a vast body of knowledge about how they interact with design thinking, product management and DevOps. Today, fewer people inquire what is Agile, more people are asking for advice on how to get their teams to follow best Agile practices. Teams should be multidisciplinary and compromise a broad set of people with the knowledge and experience necessary to complete the task. Depending on the nature of software project, Agile development teams should comprise quality assurance, automation engineers, data engineers, user experience designers, and other jobs. Teams must finish end-to-end -end functional apps, integrations, and other deliverables that have an impact on users. Not just the technical components, because Agile concentrates teams on providing working software, on what they are constructing, who is doing what, and how the program will be built, the team members must be in agreement. Other jobs which are frequently allocated to Agile teams are tech leaders who have a wide range of duties, some of which include coordinating implementation details with the team and estimating stories. Scrum Masters frequently mentor new teams on Agile practices, roles and resources. Business Analysts partner with the product owner. A vision statement outlining the range of issues, possibilities and value to be addressed is always documented as the first step in an Agile software development process. This vision is captured by the product owner, who then collaborates with a diverse team or teams to carry it out. An agile development process involves a number of responsibilities. There are two important components in an agile development process. First one is the user. The user or client is always the first consideration in an agile process. User personas are frequently created today to show various workflow roles or various consumer wants and behaviors. The second one is a product owner. The duty of the product owner is to represent all internal stakeholders as well as the customer. Insights, suggestions and feedbacks are distilled by this person to produce a product vision. Although product visions are something brief and simple, they nonetheless present a picture of the user or client, the value being addressed and a plan for doing so. It is highly advised to begin agile practices with clear business goals. A small number of chosen teams and a few well-chosen technologies. To establish, extend, scale, and maintain their organization's technological capabilities, organization leaders must strike the correct balance between varied teams, self-organization principles, standards, tools, and integrations. Want to know more about product owners and how they work? Let us know if you want another video made on that topic and we'll make sure we do that.